Hi everybody, welcome to the show. I am your good reverend, Philip. In tonight's episode, we are going together to explore the truly wonderful and holy world of impulse response sound modeling in Linux. This young's guitar tone. A simple Marshall stack with every control at midnight except for a slight mid boost inside a 4x12 cabinet. <laughs> Alright, here is what I know about impulse response, and it's going to be quick because I was kicked out of college. You have your reference sound, it's usually a balloon pop. You then go to a place. In this place, you install a loudspeaker, and through this loudspeaker, you play this reference sound, and you record it in various places of the environment with usually a minimum of two microphones. And then, through a process that involves convolution, I believe, you take the reference sound out of that recording. And what is left is a snapshot of the acoustic characteristics of the place, not just the reverb. And this is Angus Young's guitar tone in St. Patrick's Church in Petrington. On the precious Open Air Impulse Response Database website, you can search and browse for impulse response files. You can play a couple of sounds through each of them and even upload your own and see how you sound if you actually play drums in a nuclear reactor hall. Or, you know, sing through a spring reverb. This one's funky. or in computed models virtual places you can even geolocalize the data this one was recorded in a French tunnel there is another great plugin for that called Klangfalter check it out Alright everybody, that's our show. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, keep on rocking the free world. Consider helping me on my Patreon page. Don't hurt anybody, especially if they ask you. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>